the ability to deliver products and services within an agreed upon time frame is fundamental to the success of any business. Failure to meet these service level agreements or SLAs can cause serious issues for both the companies that miss their deadlines and the companies or customers relying on them to meet those deadlines. Control M SLA management enables companies to reduce the risk of missing their SLA deadlines for critical business services. By using predictive analytics and statistical trends, such as workflow estimated runtimes, it proactively determines the impact of delays or errors in the company's workflow execution and how they could affect business SLAs. If there is a risk of missing an SLA, it helps IT operations prioritize their intervention to prevent or minimize SLA violations. Let's look at an example. Suppose that your financial clause, which is a complicated process involving multiple teams and a complex mix of data, data movements, applications, and infrastructures, must complete by 2 p.m. I will demonstrate with a three steps scenario how you can manage the 2 p.m. deadline of your financial clause service with a Control M SLA management solution. As a first step, you need to define SLA settings for your financial clause. Let's see how. We are in the planning domain of Control M. If this is your financial clause service workflow, to indicate that the service is an SLA commitment, you simply add an SLA management job type as an endpoint to the service workflow. Then you define its attributes. You give it a name. You give a name to the service so that it can be easily recognized by your business users. Then you specify its SLA deadline, 2 p.m. And then you can set alerts and tolerance criteria. For example, in case of a job running too long on the service path, you may want to be alerted through email. Let's move on to the second step. Once you have defined the SLA settings, for your financial close service, you want to monitor the service execution and make sure that the SLA is attained. Let's see how. In the monitoring domain, Control M provides a service monitor view where you can see the status of your SLA services in relation to their attainment of the SLA. Here you can see that your financial close service status is okay which means that the service is estimated to be completed on time, but it has not completed yet. By looking at the details, you can see the estimated to completion time, the deadline, and the slack time, which is the amount of time the service can be delayed before the SLA is delayed. You can also see the progress of your service, that is, the number and percentage completion of jobs on the critical path and the problematic jobs. Those are jobs that are not running on time and therefore may impact the service deadline. The notion of problematic job is a prelude to the third and final step, which focuses on how to analyze a problem if it occurs in your financial close service and how to identify and solve the problem in order to prevent or minimize the SLA failure. Let's assume that after a while, you get an alert email and realize that your financial close service is at risk of missing SLA. As already mentioned, Control M uses predictive analytics to proactively determine possible SLA violations in order to give you time to intervene, prioritize remedial actions, and get things back on track. 
The analysis viewpoint provides you with all the tools you need to analyze your service and understand why it is projected to be late. You can filter for jobs on the critical path because those are the ones that can affect your service SLA. And you can see all the details about those critical jobs in a map view, in a list view, and in a Gantt view. It will be easy for you to understand that your problematic job is late because it's waiting for a condition. By analyzing the type of condition and based on the business reasons behind it, you can consider possible actions to be taken to prevent the service from missing the SLA. To make a more informed decision, you can also use the what if option and simulate the effect of implementing a certain action before the actual execution is done. For example, you can use individual what if to simulate the effect of changing a quantitative resource, shifting the time frame of a job, adding or removing a condition, skipping a job, as well as the effect of a downtime action. As you can see, the effect of a what-if action is shown with a different background color to emphasize that you are working with simulated jobs and not active jobs. Once you have identified the action or the actions that can resolve the SLA problem, you are on the right path to get things back on track and allow your financial close service to meet the SLA deadline. As a very last topic, I want to show you how you can access the financial close and the other critical business services on the self-service control and web. In this dashboard, you can see the high level view of your services and drill down into details in case of problems.